I want to speak to you more as a father today than an exhorter. Uh, I've been involved with fasting for about 35 years. <laughs> I, 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 my, my claim to fame is I've broken more fast than all of you. I know what it feels like to not do too well in fast, and I'm sure you're probably struggling right now, many of you, and you've set your face, but you're thinking, how can I ever do this, and am I a failure? Maybe you've already struggled. I want to just say to you today that before Jesus ever went on his fast, he came down to the Jordan to be baptized by John, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon him and he heard the voice of the Father. This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. I want you to hear that voice today as you're possibly in the second week of your fasting. You are God's beloved Son. Before Jesus ever did any ministry, he heard the voice of the Father said, Son, there's no one like you. I love you. Today, it's important that you understand that you really can't fail on this fast. You've set your face, but it all starts with the foundation, knowing that you're loved. And so if you struggle, maybe you, you feel like you're failing, go back to the foundation. You are loved by God. You, uh, uh, many times I've struggled with fasts, and, and, I, and that condemnation just kind of comes down on you. You've got to refuse that condemnation. Find a friend, pray with them, and go on with it. And sometimes there's not grace there, uh, and you, you, you maybe, maybe don't have to keep going on. Do not be put in guilt because of the struggle with the fast. I want you to set your face, but I want you to know today, God loves you, and nothing can shake it. You cannot earn anything on this fast. So let me just pray for you, and I want, you to, re I want to release grace, I believe God's going to release a fresh grace on you to keep going on this fast. Father, I thank you for all those around the world that are fasting and praying. I thank you that their fast is moving your heart. But I thank you that before they ever begin to fast, you moved, that they moved your heart, Father, because they're your beloved sons and daughters. I pray the release of love over them. Let them see your smile, feel your grace and then strengthen him with power. You're amazing. Come on, let's keep going, and let's see God break through for our nations, for our families, and our lives.